Now, when it comes to nutrition in season, it's really all about carbohydrates. Now, protein is going to be a big factor. You should be getting uh, 0.08 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Um, and protein is going to be great uh, for recovery. It's going to be great to build muscle, to build strength, to stop a lot of that breakdown. Um, your fats are going to be very important. Uh, your unsaturated fats, your healthy fats, those are going to be important. But carbohydrates are fuel for fast twitch muscles and movements. So carbohydrates are are essentially the the fuel in the tank for your basketball games. What's a what's a, what's a good example of a carbohydrate? Real quick, um, something you can get every day from your house. You can get oats. You can get oats. sweet potato. You can get pasta. Yeah, like you spaghetti, can get bread. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those are all carbohydrates. Okay. Um, that you can that you can eat. And now there's a difference between simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates would be like fruit. Um, but it's really the complex carbohydrates that are the long lasting energy and the fruit is more of that short term, quick energy use right now type of energy. So before your game, uh, you do want to, you know, load up on the carbs, not too much. If you have, let's say you have a rest day and you're not going to be doing anything explosive. You're not going to be playing basketball that day. You might not need carbohydrates that day. Now for most high school and college athletes, this really isn't going to matter too much. If you're overweight, it's going to matter a little bit more. You're going to want to watch a little bit more. But most basketball players, most are in shape, and it's really not going to matter too much. Just make sure that on your game day and even the, the night before a game, you do load up on those complex carbohydrates so that you have fuel in the tank uh, to fuel those fast twitch movements, the fast twitch muscle fibers, and to fuel your basketball games. Let's very quickly talk about the meal before a game, directly before a game. So you're going to want a good breakfast. You're going to want a good lunch. Let's say you have a game at 7 p.m. What I like to eat personally is a bagel with peanut butter and a banana because that gets me my healthy fats. The banana gets me my quick, simple carbs. The bagel gets me my complex carbohydrates. But for me personally, I don't like to eat that too close to the game. So I started out just testing it. I ate an hour before the game. I ate. I used to eat a bagel with peanut butter and a banana, and I felt full during my game. So I tried 90 minutes before, and I still felt full. So I tried two hours before, and this is going to be different. You might have to test it, but two hours before my game, eating a bagel with peanut butter and a banana, I still felt full during my game. So for me, I personally like to eat three hours before the game, and then I might sip a Gatorade uh, or a sports drink, you know, a body armor, whatever it's going to be uh, right up before the game. Mm-hmm. So that that's for me. So you're going to have to play with that. You're going to have to see what is best for you and how you feel because you don't want to be depleted of energy, but you also don't want to be playing basketball with a full stomach. So three hours is when I like to have my uh, pregame meal and then a sports drink right before. 